So, Ninjakiwi dropped a video the other day. Update coming soon. For those who don't know, it won't, it'll probably be coming next week. Generally, when they drop the videos and the teasers. The last couple updates, they've done that. It's been like 5, 6 to a week after this got released. So, uh, yeah. Uh, let, I'll just play the video, though. And then... What's up, guys? It's Sam here at Ninja Kingdom. We'll analyze. And this is update 36 for Bloons TD6. So first up in this update is the one you've all been waiting for, a brand new, never seen before tower, introducing the Beast Handler. The Beast Handler has a melee- All right, pause. So Beast Handler is super damn cheap. Uh, and when I run the numbers, this is the easy mode prices, right? So is that 240? Original? So let me just do some quick number crunching. 250, I think, right? Yeah, I think it's 250. Base, that's really, really cheap. The base attack and trains land, water, or air beast to become powerful forces against the balloons. I guess it must be really crappy at base. And anyways, uh, I'll pause here because this is where you can see some stuff. So, you need water, right? Well, top half is water, right? Yeah. The beast handler, ha beast handler's range has to be within water for you even even use the path, which is interesting. So it's like one third water tower in that way. And this is the merge mechanic that I think they had to delay the tower for like, what, three months or so? Or they had to delay it from two updates ago because I think they figured out it was too complicated, so they had to simplify the system. Uh, so it, it looks like, well, let's just play this part first. Beast or combine efforts to train a single beast with greater beast So you power. can merge, well, you need to merge in order to, for it to upgrade, I assume, right? You have to have enough existing of whatever this is in order for you to get that next upgrade. So I guess they make it a little bit more easy to understand. I wonder what this button... What is this button for, though? Very curious. I guess there's no way to really know. But yeah, also the tier 1s are really cheap. Tier Falcon is only $150. But that's all they have shown in terms of the, uh, the Beast Handler. They said they'll make new buttons for targeting. Oh, really? So that's where you target, I guess, the dinosaur or whatever, whatever tower it is. Like how a balloon trap works. In it. Okay. We'll see if that's correct of an assumption. Also, there's an ability. What's this ability for? Is that the merge ability? Or combine efforts to train a single On the beast bottom. with greater beast. No, no. It's a different ability. See down here? We merge it, and then that merges into it, but that ability doesn't go on cooldown, so it, it must belong to something else. Anyways. We'll combine efforts to train a single beast with we'll move on from here. Power. Next up is a brand new quest system. Quests are Okay, quests. I was actually hoping that... Well, okay, let me just show the patch notes, because they tell more about quests there. So there's self-contained challenges with it with their own special rules, difficulty, and lock, unlock requirement. So sounds like it's similar to special missions. Well, they didn't say that, but kind of in a way, kind of not. But it looks like, uh, hang on, where do, where do they say it's mostly beginner? Right here. Three beginner quests. So this is not something that I guess veterans will really have much to look forward to in terms of the update, but it's... Good for new players, obviously. So they can understand mechanics, because uh, I think... Yeah, these quests here are basically a, a way to get used to, or to understand the mechanics of the game. So it's kind of like a a glorified tutorial, right? Beast Slander helps you learn the tower. The race quest is probably a way to learn how to, how to race fast. And then the third one is how to uh, you make Quincy not miss. Make sure nothing gets past his bow. But yeah, you can basically read more there. It seems like these two will be pretty quick to complete, though. Self-contained challenges with their own special rules, difficulty... Also, uh, we're going to see the hints of the quest. Biker Bowens took six minutes to beat this race. I don't know how many rounds there are, but... Yeah, I, I, I can... Uh, I can uh, wipe Biker Bowens out in one try. 
unlock requirements and will take on the role of injecting some story into the game, teaching certain strategies, also story mode? introducing game that? modes, trying out items before unlocking them, as well as being a place for us to experiment with new mechanical ideas. This update will launch... And yeah, that's all they showed in terms of that. Actually, they'll show more about the first quest. They will launch with three beginner quests, including the epic beast quest, which you'll need to complete yeah, in order yeah. to unlock... So instead of the pop system for Darling, I guess you have to play all three to unlock the Beast Hunter in other game modes, but in this quest, if I'm getting this right, you already get Beast Hunter from the, from the jump. And it's just helping you learn how to use it. So you still start from like, zero unlocks once you actually get this. Nice UI though, yeah, I agree. I agree. The Beast Handler. On top of that, we've got a mythological new intermediate map for you to take on with Polyphemus. Alright, that's just a map. They said, oh, uh, hang on. Where is it? Where is it? Where did this... they talk about the new map? Yeah. So, from what I see here, whose one great eye closes over towers in its sight. Never fear, however, it's not crew... not dead, just out of play until you can open the eye again. It sounds like, uh... The bot factory map from Battles 2, where the towers go away, but then come back. Also, virtually the eye is only over the water, right? That seems to be the case. Pretty... Uh, it's nice they uh, added that into the, uh, the mechanic into the game. Next up, the trophy store has a bunch of awesome new items available, including... A lobster BFB skin. A necromancer avatar a community-designed Avatar of Darkness profile banner, and more. And finally, there have been the usual round of bug fixes and balance changes, a full list of which can be found in the update notes. So that's all for this and update, and we hope you're all just... that's it. Yeah, they, didn't, they don't post the balance changes or patch notes right when the, uh, you know, the preview drops. They do it once the update's actually out, so... Guess we'll see what's changed. Yeah, it's majority just... The Beast Handler, this update. Also, it's a, it's a support tower for those who didn't see. Probably similar support in a way. Like, kind of similar to how the Spike Factory support. Even though it's not really a real support tower. Because judging from that, it doesn't look like it's actually going to do... Like, support stuff. It does make sense to be magic. I agree as well. You can probably shift the... Around some of the categories, but... Yeah. Looking forward to it. That's all I can really say. Looking, looking interesting to see how the merge mechanic will actually work. I guess how how they've changed it from how it originally once was. Uh, yeah, that that's basically it. Not really looking forward too much about the quest. Although, again, I'm I'm happy they're in the game for the newer players, but there's not really much for me personally to do there. That's my thoughts so far. And yeah.